Hi there and welcome to this week's golf equipment q and I'm Valerie Melvin here with Frank Thomas and we're in the putting pad at Reunion Resort in Orlando, Florida so hop along for a putting lesson. This week Frank a lot of controversy regarding drug testing, VJ Singh, the deer antler spray, um, you know it's all a bit of a tough situation but yeah, this is something you've talked about for a while Frank, you know with a lot of passion um, with regards to just drug testing in golf and what it means for the game. Right, um, I, I do feel very strongly about it. I, I think uh, this is a wonderful game, it's unique in that we call ourselves on infractions, we don't need umpires or referees and, and uh, what we do need are unambiguous rules because we call ourselves on infractions and as far as I'm concerned I think that uh, we need to have a rule in the book uh, in the etiquette section possibly rather than a condition of competition where they have anti-doping policy I think a rule in the etiquette section is a, probably the appropriate place that says you know any uh, in performance enhancing substances is a violation of of basically the rules or the spirit of the game now uh, if that is very clearly outlined then it's up to the individual because the individual knows when they're taking something which is going to enhance their performance and that is what the game's all about when you know you violated a rule or you know the ball has moved you call yourself on infractions and whether it's you know aspirin or whether it's some steroids it makes no difference if you are taking them to enhance your performance then it's a violation that's certainly clear. I it would makes hope it a so. Lot clearer. I would hope so, and and I think um, the very essence of the game is at stake. Uh, we're going to fracture the foundations of the game if we don't uh, recognise that honour is what the game is based on. Uh, you're right, Frank, and that's what obviously differentiates it from a lot of or almost every other sport in right. a sense. And um, well, please share your thoughts on franklygolf.com. We look forward to hearing what you have to say. Um, we'll be back next week, but until then, may the frog be with you. <laughs>